Last week, I explained and introduced my new project, so check out that video if you haven't already. This week, I worked on a number of minor features to help with distinction in gameplay and an easily expandable building system. The first feature I worked on was color correction. Someone on Discord pointed out that the packets blend in with other packets, and it gets really hard to tell which packet is going to which user. I completely agree with this, but instead of changing it, I decided to test it out, and here are my thoughts on this. The random colors did help with clarifying the packet's destinations and users, but it seemed a little off. In order to randomize the colors, I chose to create a new color where I would randomize the red, green, and blue value, so it's completely random. When running the game, the game feels really complex, but not in a good way. It seems really messy all over the place, and what I might try to work on is, rather than changing the colors of the user nodes itself, each server hub node should have its own color. Hear me out. The reason I think changing the color of the server is better than changing the color of the user is because rather than trying to distinguish which packet is from which user, it's better to know which user is part of which server. If you randomize the colors of the users and the packets, it will get much, much harder to tell which user the server is connected to. But that's not something I added in this week, but I'll probably start planning and try and fit that into my to-do list for the next week. So what did I do about this situation? Absolutely nothing. I thought there was no need to address the user and the packet confusion as of yet, because that's not something important. What I did change, however, was the color of the disconnected user nodes and the connected user nodes. When playing through the game for footage last week, I couldn't tell which user nodes were connected or not connected because they were the same colors. The only visual effect that came out was the animation, but that's really hard to tell if you're losing focus and there's a lot of packets moving around. And so there's currently nothing that separates between the connected and the disconnected user nodes. By changing the color of these user nodes, it becomes much easier to find which nodes to connect to. While on the topic of color correction, I also changed the color of the line the player is currently moving because that blends in with the placed lines really well. And changing the colors can really help with knowing exactly where the line is rather than just purely guessing its position. You can also see from the footage that the game slows itself down when the player is connecting a line, so packet movement doesn't distract the player as they try to navigate their mouse over to the user nodes. And I added a simple quit button which will appear when I press the escape key. The main feature I worked on this week, however, is the building system. If you've watched my previous video, or is currently looking at the screen right now, you can see that the first server hub node is at the center of the screen, waiting to be connected. Sure, having one server hub could work, but it seems a little limited. Players should be able to freely move around in the future and play server hubs so it can organize their users a little better. The building system wasn't too complicated to set up. Because the game is in 2D, it, I don't need to account for the model's Y offset, their rotations, or any kind of three d model spawn hassle. Instead, all I have to do is call the instantiate function, pass in the node I want to spawn, and the mouse position, and the re reset rotation. If you have any questions on how to implement this, or have any questions about the game, I'm pretty open to hearing your suggestions and questions, so Twitter and Discord might be a good idea to follow and join. Links are all in the description. There wasn't much to show you guys this week, but I'm hoping there'll be much more to show in the next week. I forgot to mention, in the last video, and I don't think people look at the comments very often, but this game doesn't exactly have a name yet. So if you think you have a good one that might fit the game, I'd be happy to consider it and read it. Other than that, there's nothing more to add for this week. Subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next devlog, which is hopefully next week, and I'll see you guys then.